I guess that's all part of sailing. You've got to adapt and evolve to the weather. And since the weather's changed and the wind's changed, it won't be downwind cruising. Oh, there's an anchorage in here. Depth sounder. There's a cactus. There's cactus. Now I knock you out. really good with the COVID cases. They were at zero for a while there, um, but they've recently started jumping back up again. They have 220 active cases in Malaysia at the moment, which is still really good. But the Hari Raya is about to happen, which is the celebration that happens after the month long of fasting during Ramadan. So this was actually meant to be a couple of months ago, but because the COVID was outbreaking then, they decided to cancel it. And so it's been rescheduled for now. So during this time, um, fa families get together, they have celebrations, um, a lot of family meetups and things like that, and people will travel as well. So. We're expecting, we are on the island of Lengkawi, which is a tourist hotspot. So a lot of the Malaysian people like to come here to holiday and this is the perfect time for them to come here. So it goes to, it goes for a week. So it's a week long holiday. And so we're going to try our best to stay away from everyone. And we're gonna set sail and head off and have a look around and just try to avoid people. What's that on my face, you ask? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is zinc. Slip, slop, slap. So we got a nice bit of wind up here today and we were gonna leave this anchorage tomorrow, but uh, a lot of day trip boats have started again, so there's a lot more tourism, localized tourism going on. Unfortunately, they seem to see Nanji as a bit of a tourist attraction or just to zoom past as a bit of a dodging course. So uh, we're getting a bit shaken up by, by boats cru cruising past every couple of minutes. So we might get up the anchor and since we have got this good bit of breeze, it's a good excuse to get the fart up. So hopefully we can get out there and we'll be a unicorn fart sort of day. What do you reckon, Vessel? No, oh, you know I love a good unicorn fart. Love a good fart. Yeah, let's get this rainbow flying. Anchor's up. Anchor's up. Let's Harry hold out here. We've got a bit of traffic. Yeah, that's a nice wind. Yeah. Look at your hair. Good oh, wind, eh? Man, it looks good too, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> yeah. You good? Yeah. Come on, man. Before we can race the spinnaker, we have to get out through this channel first. And while we've been getting out through the channel, a squall has formed and uh, it's blowing the wind from the wrong direction. So it might hamper our, our spinnaker dreams. Ruin everything. We'll have to see. I guess that's all part of sailing. You gotta adapt and evolve to the weather. And since the weather's changed and the wind's changed, we won't be downwind cruising. So, uh, I don't know, there's an anchorage in here, but we've never been here before. And because the water's really green, you just have to have the depth sounder on. Instead of not depth sounder, it's called a hummingbird, but we, I reckon it's just suitably named because you got to press the button a million times and it just goes do, 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 before it turns on. And even then, when it turns on, the screen's that forked, you can struggle to read it. Yeah. So, depth sounder is cactus. Is cactus. They are pretty important. <laughs> Yeah, we need to get one. Yeah, and uh, I know the charts say it's like three, four metres deep, so it is on the uh, shallower side of things as well. So it's have to be pretty slow and cautious going in here. I'm up the front and I'm looking for dangers, but I can't see anything. The water is so murky and green. Yeah. still isn't working but we have both of the charts up at the moment and um, someone has anchored in here before so someone's anchored in here safely um, and we're just going really slow at half a knot and just making our way in through this little channel hopefully the depth sounder will start to work at some point it does eventually turn on and start working it just takes a lot I just heard the depth sounder noise you got a number 
remember, Josh? Nine, eight, yep. seven metres now. Sweet. It's good. Yeah. It's a comfy depth. Good peace of mind. I think that was a good idea to stop hay vessel. It's nice and tucked away behind this corner. It definitely would have been an upwind slog otherwise. Not that we don't like upwind sailing, but... We got paid today. We do, and like we really, <laughs> really want to fly our spinnaker, so we're going to try again tomorrow. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's it. Instead, it's eating last night's pizza. Yeah. Pretty good. It's amazing how quickly the weather changes. Took a couple of hours and that big squillard is gone. Kind of getting that settled wind back again. But it's getting a bit late in the afternoon, so we won't go flying the fart just yet. We'll wait till tomorrow. The forecast is meant to be like this for tomorrow as well. So instead, I we'll have to take the whipper down the beach and let him go do some land nuggets. Hey, buddy. You ready, aren't you? Yeah. With so much remote coastline to explore, it would be rude of us if we didn't take Flubber out for an excursion. The cliff landscapes are very reminiscent of Thailand, although as it is only 20 nautical miles further north to reach the southern islands of Thailand, this is not that surprising. On satellite images, I'd spotted this hidden cove tucked back away from the sea, but when we arrived, the fringing reef was too shallow to sneak Flubber over. Not to worry, as there are plenty of other vacant beaches to check out in the other direction. It's a little bit touch and go, but we've gotten over the reef, no worries. Stay there, Molly. Hang on, puppy, it's a bit rocky. Oh. Alright, in you get. The depth monitor. Come on, buddy, in you get. Come on, in you get. Yeah, check it, there's a little channel up here. You should be able to sneak through with that. Lead the way, son, lead the way. My biggest fear. Out of all the marine life is stoned fish, so I am being very careful. You're scared fish. shitless right now. This is my worst nightmare right here. <laughs> I thought maybe we might be able to find a beach that wasn't didn't have a fringing reef, but it's not the case and the tide is still dropping, so instead of trying to get flubber right up on the uh, on the beach there, we'll just bring him out into the shallower Deeper water, I mean, deeper sandier water out here. So we don't need a skull dragger over all of this. Just in case. If it wasn't for that squall when we left our last anchorage, we would not have stopped in this new place and would not have found this little slice of paradise. Plans are meant to change, and if it is one thing we have learned this year, it is to make the most out of any situation. As sailors, we are always dependent upon the weather to travel, and this means our plans can change frequently. Adapting to live with this ever-changing scenario, the rewards you can receive when accepting that things don't always go to plan are priceless. That's how we ended up here, alone and happy. Go on. Today I'm 
I'm going to cook with tofu. It's always a bit tricky with tofu because Yosh isn't a huge fan, so I always have to try to mix it up and um, try different things to get him to eat it. And I saw a recipe on Alana Blanchard's one of her videos. She's another YouTuber and uh, she's a pro surfer and she does sort of like healthy lifestyle things and that sort of thing and she's a vegan so um, Benita loves her. She, yeah she did this recipe and I thought oh I gotta try this so I'm gonna try it today and hopefully Josh likes it as well. It's pretty basic but it looks pretty good. First thing you need is some firm tofu. You want to make sure it's firm tofu, okay? Otherwise it's going to turn into a gluggy mess. We've got our pan here. So we're going to let that heat up first. We're going to salt it. And now we're going to cover it in nutritional yeast. So this is going to give it like a cheesy flavor. These are yeast flakes, but I think you're just meant to use yeast, but this is all they had, so. You just got to use what you got. <laughs> And just stir that around and then we go again. So we put some more nutritional yeast on top. So I've got the popcorn tofu from Alana Blanchard on the side here. We've got some zucchini, roasted zucchini. So I just put some paprika and some salt and pepper on it and chucked it in the, in the oven. And I've also got some quinoa, some tomatoes and some avocados as well. So this is going to be so delicious. This is my favorite way to eat is just to have lots of different things and that, and, and just to mix them all together and eat them. Like that's my favorite way of eating. Yum. Yum, let's do this. I'll get some forks. Yeah. Can I have some chili? Chili sauce? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Angry mate. <laughs> you ain't getting nothing. Nothing. You look outside. And give a young It's just another Boring dome The sky looks grey On nevers Bound the floor Your days are feeling Just the same For a long time You've been off your game Don't care to play Young cat to keep us cold I don't know If your soul's feeling cold If your heart's growing cold You just need the drop of summertime This unplanned stopover turned into a memorable anchorage and a highlight of our time in Langkawi. With glassy waters, the conditions were too light to even fill the unicorn fart, so instead of sailing, we rumbled our way back to town as we have another appointment to see the dock and check up on our growing grommet. Dave is feeling super preggers. Are you preggers or something? What's wrong? You know I knocked you out. Shut up! I'm not that. High five that. You know, I know you are. It's been a while since we've seen the doctor, so today I have a doctor's appointment to have an ultrasound and see the doctor again. And um, yeah, it's really exciting. We always love uh, looking at bumps on the ultrasound and hearing that heartbeat. I don't think there's anything else in the world that compares to hearing your baby's heartbeat. Like, it's amazing. So yeah, let's go get in. This is like my favorite thing to do during lockdown, I've decided. Just go get ultrasounds and look at bubs. <laughs> He's pretty fucking cool. <laughs> yeah, push pull, eh? We don't want to know the sex. Oh, no problem. Why are you growing? Wow. You see the heart? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness, it's so big. Oh, my God. Yeah, we love it, mate. It's going to be the biggest surprise. 